Uh, hello, this is a note about using the instrument displays, instrument panel displays and graphs in uh, QTVLM. Um, and we want to um, uh, have a brief discussion of that uh, in preparation for use of the simulation. And uh, so let me start out by saying, in a sense, well, this is a good reference in general here, the manual. And you can get to the manual from the program if you just click Help and then Documentation. That will take you there. And then I would recommend downloading this PDF to your computer and have re ready access to it at any time. And once you load this PDF, you can then, uh, it does not have a, uh, bookmarks, but it has an interactive table of contents that works really well. So you can do Command F, uh, or that's the same as this button up here. On a, on a Mac, it's Command F. On a PC, it would be Control F, and that pops up this find on this page. And then I put instruments, and then you say next, and then you can say next. And okay, then when you want to go to that one, you go there, and you can go through here and, and look at the instruments. And there's a, it's a very valuable tool. And it has a especially important section on the use of the instruments, which uh, QTVLM has a, has a lot of instrumentation options, uh, which I'm actually going to show. Uh, let me see. Oh, I've closed them. Let me pause one minute and open them and then come right back. Actually, I didn't close them. I had them just hidden. Okay, so let me go over here just to look at some of the instrumentation. Now, we're not, for what we're going to do, we're not going to get fancy like this, but you can do any, we want to just set up some of these, uh, what they, these are referred to as LEDs, sort of simulating an LED or emulating an LED devices. We're going to use that. You can also display analog devices like this and also graphs. I'll show some in a moment. Uh, you could even set up a, this is like a sail diagram for what sails you use for, for what winds and speed. And we can change the size and location and color of these and so forth. Now, the, the one thing I want to look at is here's another way to look at look at instruments on uh, QTVLM. And that is, uh, they just call this the instruments panel. And it's nothing but instruments. It's just a big black box and you put instruments on it. And you can make that look nice. But we're not going to use that at all. And when you come back here to the main program, this is a, now I'm going to demo this stuff with a brand clean program. But this is the, the this is a fresh install program. When you turn on this button, that's got a blue background in and they see up here a little to toolbar with a blue background that brings up these in the main instruments of the program and you these are the ones we're going to use and we're going to move them around and make them different sizes and so forth and you can and then you turn that on and off here or I think let's see option I yeah on, or on uh, option I turns them on and off or you would just do the blue icon now this guy we're going to just recommend we're going to just shut him off that's the one that just makes the black panels so I think the best bet let's just do that now actually QTVLM configuration uh, toolbar and then that is uh, that is this is the blue background that's the black but that's called instruments panel let's just for now shut that off okay and now roll up and say okay all right so now we're not confused in life anymore here this turns the ones on this turns them off okay and so then what else do we have here they can also you can also make uh these very nice whoops these graphs here's a and we'll get into that not right not right away but w later when we start dealing with weather uh, or routing and looking watching the weather and things like that or we may watch this to look at the optimum course optimum course to make good uh, to a given mark but this is a way you can plot any of the instruments here as a function of time you can make a graph of this is a graph showing the true wind speed and the true wind direction uh, uh, and, uh, and it's uh, bouncing about a mean value so you could if the wind is backing backing or veering then you'll be able to spot it by watching a graph of this somewhere up in the corner just a kind of a keep another eye on things and then here is a here's a nice way that you can plot the cross track error which we get into in the next lesson but there's all these nice uh, instruments that we can do and the 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 what the data that goes into the instruments 
what we read on the instruments, there's three different things you, that can show up and be read in the instruments. One is a real live NEMA signal from your GPS and your other wind instruments or whatever on your boat or on your desktop, whatever you've got, however you got them. You can also get that data. You can also the, you can get an app like the QTVLM mobile app will also broadcast all that data back to your computer if you want to use it that way. Or uh, there's other ways. So it's live NEMA data, or you can use a simulator. So if you're using the simulator, the simulated values would show up. And then there's a third way is you can run a file you can just assign let's say you have a uh, a long record of a race or a sale of some kind and you have all the NEMA data saved um, then uh, you can then just go and play that back a playback and then those will all show up here so those are the three ways we can look at the data all right now let's just get to the basics we want here uh, we go up first of all we'll go let's see uh, oh is it boat no um, uh, this a QTM. I'm on a Mac. I'm on a PC, and I'm normally on a Mac. It's very slightly different. Okay, so here's instruments. So, uh, so I did configuration or pr preferences and instruments, and here's where you turn on and off what you want. And this is a uh, cross track air uh, speed over the ground velocity made course. We have to study that one. Cross track air. Now, okay, what is this? TSP. I, uh, temperature, uh, I just don't, suppose you don't know what that is, or this is maybe percent of the polar, you know, don't know that. Then go back here, go back here to this program, and then go ahead and what do we want? TSP. And just type in TSP, okay, and say next. Next. Oh, oh okay, so, okay, look. Oh, target. That's your target boat speed. That's an important one. I, d I was mixing up with seawater temperature, which is uh, STP, sea temperature down here. Anyway, so that's how you find out what each of these things stand for until, until you work with them and they become second nature to you. But uh, we're not, for now, we're not doing too, we're not going to, this is going to be important like in two lessons, but not now. And this one we don't need. We want true wind direction, true wind angle, true wind speed, apparent wind speed and direction. Course through the water, speed through the water. This is set and drift that they're calculating for us. Let's say we're going to do that on our own. That's a depth. That's a pressure. These are very important for the marine weather. The roll and pitch or the heel of the boat. Uh, we don't need that air temperature. This is course to the next mark and distance to the next mark. We're going to use those. Okay, uh, and, th and that's it. Those, so those are the ones we want. And th oh, and then you want to set up which which ones do you want to graph? For now, let me just let me just uh, pick a, pick a couple of these that we're going to plot, and then because it doesn't matter, I'm going to move back to the Mac here in a minute. Okay, uh, where I've got it already set up. All right, that's all that. Okay, then I have to go to hit enter or hit the OK button. And now that's the that's uh, okay. Now turn on the turn them on, and you see now it's re delegate it's related <laughs> relegated to the uh, just the ones we wanted. And these courses, there's a little T there. That means we've got the machine set to run true bearings. That's good. Now then we want to change the size and maybe move them around. And then you do that with now you go to boat boat instruments and then we're showing oh alt i you see yeah pc it is alt i and here you're freezing them that's freezing the dial right now i only care about these uh these uh well let me put let me do let me turn them both on so i go to wait boat uh instruments uh and then un un unlock i'm going to unlock the lcds now i can move these and see when I move them, I can move them over here, like that. That's a that's the uh, dis, uh, direction to the next mark. This is a course, and you see how it lines them up. Well, and also you can you know you can change the size, and you change the size by um, carefully dragging this one. And so if I want to get these the same size. I could I could do it different ways, but 
In other words, look, this is something that may take you a couple of minutes. You have to be careful with your fingers and so forth. But once you do it, then you're going to lock them, and then they're going to be that. You don't have to do it again. Or you can also go in and change the default size of all of them. You can change the default size of all of them, and then you just have to move their positions and not deal with the size. That's probably a better way to do it. All right, here, so there we got, the, this is like the next mark. Other things related to the next mark would be this guy. We might, you know, put him up here. Uh, let me just say, that's a velocity made good to that mark, and maybe the cross track error. The cross track error. Okay. Okay, something like that. I don't have very calm fingers here. Okay, and then the wind stuff. We can leave all the wind things down here, maybe. Course to steer. Okay, oh, now, this by, okay, so there's two things. Okay, so this is why I'm doing the movie. So you can click here to move it, right? That's the way you move it. Or you can click up here, or colors, where it says colors. Then if you want to, you could change the background of that one to be like that. And then that will uh, say, okay, okay. Then, oh, I didn't do it right. Um, I made it black. Um, colors, background, blue. Maybe I didn't say okay. I must not have said okay. Background value, okay. Well, I'll have to look up how to change them to blue. We don't care about what color they are. But, uh, and so there you go. So that's all I wanted to do now. And so, but you see when, you, when you're trying to move one, if you click it up here, it's gonna change the color. You gotta click it down below here to move it. So that's the main things I wanted to show, show on setting these up. And then you just take your time and set it up. And then you can do a command, or it'll be probably control S, is that right? Yeah. Control S, you can do Control S, that'll save all your settings, you know, that you've got done. So if you, if anything happens and you, you know, you, you've got, you can always uh, come back and uh, have your settings saved for you. So that's all I want to do on that. And now then, um, maybe that's everything for now. Let me go, um, I'm going to move this down and open the PC version, I mean the Mac version. Um, oh, I forgot about the graphs. So we also have graphs and that when you, okay, so the way that is, and these are set up for, what is this a graph of the pressure? So if you, uh, if you hold, if you just click it, if you click it and hold it uh, for a long time, it'll turn on that uh, pitch and heel. Let me just turn. A long hold is that. But here's course through the water. Here's course through the water. So one quick click gives you the gives you an analog dial. And you can read about what are the options in your analog dial in the help file, in the in the manual. And so a, a quick click of the L C D gives you that on and off. A long click, that means I'm holding it down for for a little bit of a, a little while, that turns on the graph. Okay? So that's that. So a long click, we'll shut that off. A short click turns on that, short click off. All right, so that's all I want to show. Now I want to get right into the actual running the simulator and have the boat running. Uh, so we drive the boat in the real wind or turn the engine on or do whatever we want. But this is just so you're going to see these instruments all set up on my screen. And when you do this yourself in the lesson on simulations, I want that's that I've just tried to illustrate how you set that up. And I'm going to stop there.